Hi, everybody. It is uh, June 1, 2019. I was sent this uh, activist post article. Well, it's really just a video. Detained and thrown in a cell. Welcome to Bilderberg 2019. In this video, Dan Hicks is talking about the very different Bilderberg this year from previous years. Within hours of landing, Dan was detained and held in a cell, along with Luke Rudowski and two other journalists, while the Bilderbergers quietly exited the building unmolested. Remember those videos of the Bilderberg conference where there were so many uh, independent journalists from around the world who would come to stand outside the hotel, watch the cars go in, um, and they would, they would ask questions of those attending the Bilderberg meeting, and they would get responses. Well, in this video, which I'll play just a few minutes of. This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. I just landed in Geneva, Switzerland. I'm here to cover the 67th annual Bilderberg conference, and I'm already noticing some very, very different things from previous years of my coverage. Namely, there is no indication in here whatsoever of where the Bilderbergers might be arriving and where they might be pulling out. In fact, in previous years, by this time, I have I would have already been scoping out the entire hotel. I would already have been there for days doing reconnaissance, but we just found, I just found out about this 48 hours ago and hopped on a plane and I am here landing at the same time they are and I don't see any indication of anything. So this is bizarre. So uh, I'm gonna just continue to walk around and see if I can see some of these guys. We'll see what happens. All right, so a little update. That guy right behind me there is a Turkish MP. All right, and if you watch this video, you will see um, Dan trying to ask questions, but no one responds. No one responds. They just keep walking. And that is different from other Bilderberg um, coverage that we have seen in previous years. So you can also see that the uh, law enforcement comes and detains Luke and Dan Hicks. Why am I posting this video? To be honest, I am no longer interested in all of this. I'm just not. And fortunately, other people are, and they're posting on it. Um, eight years, and all of the agendas have just accelerated. Now, you can put them under the umbrella of the United Nations, New World Order, the reshaping of the New World, and all of it has just accelerated, and it's cementing itself. Um, the, the weather being used as a weapon, well, we are seeing now. It's not just in the United States, and I get comments from people who are saying it's not just the United I know, I know. Uh, so many countries are undergoing massive flooding at the same time we are. I just can't, it's overwhelming now. And so I focus on the United States. Yes, you've got to focus local, okay? Um, if, uh, it, 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 there's no way to reach those in Washington, D.C., or now, you know, in Geneva, Switzerland, this Bilderberg conference. This fight needed to be taken locally in your own communities. And over eight years, I have seen that, yeah, most people don't, don't do a thing. And if you get angry at my saying that, you're probably one of them. You know, when you see so many who were quote unquote awake jump on the Trump wagon, and what are they doing? Nothing, because their belief is telling them Trump is going to fix everything. That's the American psyche to just not take responsibility, individual responsibility, to fix anything. You go out. You cast your vote for the lesser of two evil, and then you support the lesser evil for four or eight years while everything gets worse, but you maintain that belief that they're going to fix everything. You know, after posting so many videos 
having a Trump playlist filled with facts and evidence for people to consider that Trump may just be a puppet? No. What do I get? Unsubbed. What do I get? Just crucified for my, you know, sharing information that really should um, make all of those awake Trump supporters take a step back and just look at Trump. No, no, he's real. He's playing three or four D chess and he's fighting the deep state. And can't you see Carol? And then I'll get a link to an article where Trump has done something good. Of course they need to do things good because they need to keep your support while you sit back and do nothing, believing that guy's going to fix everything. When they don't, everything just gets worse. In fact, you know, it's gotten so bad that now we have mainstream media. Oh, it's not just Newsweek. It's the Washington Post. It's all of these mainstream media outlets. They're posting articles on the Bilderberg Conference. What? Mainstream media. For decades, they've been calling people the independent journalists, the citizen journalists, they've been calling them nutcases, conspiracy theorists. Now we have mainstream media reporting on the Bilderberg Conference. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I found some of the information in this article very interesting indeed. Uh, mainstream media now has taken a turn and they're calling some of the elite psychopaths? Wow. Okay, so I will link below. Um, nothing is hidden anymore. Nothing. And we are getting actually validation from mainstream media, but our American, our fellow Americans, they'll continue to think that we are nutcases. That's the reason why mainstream media now can come out with truth. They know they got us. They know most Americans are incapable of thinking for themselves and becoming active to fight against this evil tyranny that is taking hold. They know they got us. So it doesn't matter what we know, we're done. Why? Because so many just laid back hoping that somebody else was going to fix it. Guess what? Nothing was fixed. And, uh, you know, it's why, who cares about the Washington, D.C. drama? That's all it is. And when you're focused on drama, you're not focused on the truth. In drama, the truth is lost. Those drama queens in Washington, D.C., Trump, Pelosi, all of them, they just stage this drama to get you all caught up in it, to lose your focus on the truth. You know, and at this point, having lived this so long, I, I can't listen to these voices anymore. Donald Trump repulses me. Pelosi repulses me. So you can get angry at me. I don't care. I, I, I'm not posting you know, to be popular for you to like me. I'm not posting for any other reason but to, you know, look at what's happening, guys. Look, okay? We're dying here. We're losing the war. We continue to lose the war. Everything just continues to get worse. Everything is accelerating at a rapid pace. But most are robots. They do the same thing every single day. They think the same way every single day. They maintain their beliefs, regardless of whether their belief is right or wrong, um, because to do anything other requires work. And that's why for eight years I've been saying, look, the individual is really important here. 
the individual work is really important here. Uh, we've got to do the work necessary to um, raise ourselves up uh, to get that generative care working within us. If we don't have that, then we'll say we care, but we won't do anything. When we've done the work on ourselves, we've raised ourselves up, we have a higher level of consciousness, and suddenly we realize, wow, okay, care, uh, compassion, all of that. There's a saying that I have it, but then there's the realizing of it, and that requires work. Once you get to that place of genuine care, you will begin to experience how it motivates your behavior, how it you can no longer sit back and do nothing. You have to take action. You have to speak out um, in the face of injustice. Well, now injustice is just life, how we live. It's, it's taken over. All of this needed to be fought in your own local communities. We have some that are very active in their own local community. I would have hoped that that would have inspired everybody to get moving, but it didn't. It didn't. So, um, Doing the same thing over and over and over again, well, it is, and then expecting different results. It is the definition of insanity, and most are insane, because they don't want to change. They don't want to do anything that might disturb their comfort. This is not just the sleeping sheeple but it's also the awake crowd. If you're comfortable, you haven't suffered the consequences, yeah, you're you know getting information from the videos that you watch, but you don't do anything different. So here we are. And it's, it's just tiring to you know, post the same old, same old, yeah, you know, different details, but they all fall under umbrellas, United Nations, Agenda 2030, this reshaping of the world into this new world order where every aspect of our life will be controlled. So when you see Newsweek coming out with articles on the Bilderberg and Washington Pro Post and all of these um, mainstream media news outlets, you know they got us. A slew of Silicon Valley luminaries are attending this year's elite transatlantic conference at a heavily guarded five-star hotel on the shores of Lake Geneva. It's a secretive summit. Who's there? Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Jared Kushner, Pentagon officials. One is a top military strategist. The other is the technical director for artificial intelligence. And they're all meeting with the tech giants. As the war machine gets smarter and every last bit of weaponry becomes AI enhanced, the lines between Silicon Valley and the Pentagon start to get awfully blurry. They were, those lines were blurry decades ago when we had our CIA through its um, um, agencies, and I can't remember the, the name. Oh, God. Well, funding, funding the startups of Google and Facebook. It's not just starting to get blurry. It's been aligned. And it is the Pentagon and the CIA and the NSA that were funding 
the startups. So there's a lot. I've posted videos. The evidence that these tech giants, Microsoft, Apple, the um, social media giants, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Google, Twitter, they're all working with government. These are not private companies. So when they are taking away your free speech and you leave a comment, well, you know, they're privately owned and they get to do whatever they want to do. You're just fooled into believing that it's a private company. Um, so, yeah, you have Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State. You have Jared Kushner. You have Pentagon officials all meeting with tech giants. Where do you think this is going? It's going to that world that is already now experiencing artificial intelligence. And I do believe that artificial intelligence is operating our weather weapons already. But it will be operating all, everything in the world. So we're looking, we're looking, the madness that we're living right now will only accelerate. It will get more and more. The psychological warfare will become so intense that people won't be able to figure out what the hell is happening in their own life. And many of us are already experiencing that and wondering what has gone on. What the hell is going on? Why are people behaving the way they are behaving? Why are people suddenly turning? Why, 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 why? We'll just be left with the question. Um, so, yeah. Phew, boy, this world, man. Sniff this year's Bilderberg, and you can smell this new kind of war. Cyber threats, the weaponization of social media, the head of GCHQ, which is Britain's uh, NSA, um, the director of NATO's new STRATCOM Center of Excellence, excellence um, that spearheads digital engagement and psychological warfare. I have videos on my channel of NATO documents with their psychological warfare tactics that they use on social media. It's only going to increase. It's only going to increase, guys. Long-term conference insider, Google CEO Eric Schmidt, chairs the Pentagon's Defense Innovation Board and also heads up the National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence. Isn't it interesting how Google and Amazon and all these tech giants are receiving a whole lot of money, Pentagon contracts, because they're working together. Uh, alongside Schmidt on the Bilderberg Steering Committee are yet another two tech billionaires, Alex Karp, Peter Thiel, Trump's best friend, Peter Thiel, well, a good friend, Karp, CEO of Palantir a shady data analytics company which just won a massive 800 million from the Pentagon uh, for a battlefield intelligence contract. Palantir was set up in 2004 by Peter Thiel uh, with backing from the CIA. Thiel, who was a co-founder of PayPal, is a director of Facebook and is high tech's most vocal supporter of Donald Trump. Truly, it boggles the mind what Donald Trump would think about his poor, innocent son-in-law wandering into the murky world of Bilderberg. He's not wandering into that world. He's in that world. So is Donald Trump. They're all in that world. Prime ministers, billionaire investors, strategizing behind closed doors with Pentagon officials, NATO chiefs, all under the watchful eye of 
Goldman Sachs International. Look into how many Goldman Sachs are sitting in Trump's cabinet. Uh, we, we go through the same thing every change of, a, of an administration. Everyone. Oh, great, Obama, the great savior. Goldman Sachs sitting in cabinet seats. Trump, yay, the great savior. Goldman Sachs sitting in cabinet seats. God. Well, yeah, the individual really needs to do the work to get out, clear up, heal their own insane way of thinking. Otherwise, everything just goes on as usual. Nothing changes. Everything gets worse. Same old, same old. Crisis is loom looming for Bilderberg. A crisis is looming for Bilderberg. Um, well, before I get into this, not just Goldman Sachs. You've got the heads of Deutsche Bank, Santander, um, Credit Suisse, sorry, HSBC. And here Newsweek says that now the banks are coming together with tech. Yeah, look, that's when you realize Newsweek has known that the banks, tech, Pentagon, uh, war machines, they're all working together. Now, Newsweek is reporting this as new. Well, that just goes to show you that mainstream media is, uh, well, let's just say behind the independent journalists. Um, so here, and they claim that the EU project, which is the beloved uh, project of Bilderberg, and it's threatened, there's a crisis of leadership, with Brexit and Frexit and Grexit and Polzik, Poland, Germany, France, and Britain wanting to leave the EU, you ain't leaving. It's only a staged play. You're not going anywhere. You're stuck. Um, so, they are now talking about David Rockefeller, tucked away since 2017 in his chirogenic pod. Henry Kissinger knocking on hell's door. Newsweek? Newsweek. Henry Kissinger knocking on hell's door? You always propped up, Henry Kissinger. Um, well, that's not supportive of Henry Kissinger. So what's going on? Now they can tell you the truth. Now suddenly mainstream media is in alignment with everything that we've been saying about these psychopathic elite nut jobs. Newsweek goes on. You realize that Bilderberg is facing a generational crisis. You might not like or admire Henry Kissinger. You might want him strung up for war crimes, but you have to admit He's a heavyweight statesman and historian. Why is he a heavyweight? Because you, Newsweek, have been propping him up as that heavyweight. <sighs> you know, our mainstream media have glorified the worst of the worst. And now, Mainstream media comes out and says he's a psychopath with a vision. <laughs> wow. Where will Bilderberg find the serious analogs to lead them into 2020? Google. Eric Schmidt, Peter Thiel. Trump's good friend, Peter Thiel. So the really smart people now um, leading this conference, they're the engineers and the tech leaders, not the statesmen, the psychopathic statesmen with a vision. What was the vision? 
the vision was a new world order of tyranny great vision so um, God you know it's there are so many obviouses that go over people's heads and it drives me nuts that people cannot see what is so clear something has gone very wrong very wrong with life itself something has gone very wrong here in our country obvious but well don't bother me with it because I just want to have fun I just want to watch TV -E. I just want to do my thing leave me alone I ain't changing I ain't doing a thing I'm sick of it yeah who's on the steering committee for the Bilderberg conference Eric Schmidt Peter Thiel so we are and this article claims that you know the Bilderberg conference where it used to be attended by mostly Europeans now the Bilderberg it's firmly in the hands of the Americans Th that's bullshit because all worlds, oh, I mean all countries, are um, are going Agenda 2030, and they're all working together. This isn't an American takeover of the world. You know, a lot of people want to believe it's the Israeli takeover of the world. Then there are those who believe it's the Jesuit takeover of the world. It's the evil takeover of the world. Evil versus good. Good ain't winning. It's losing. Why? Because, well, remember and focus on for evil to flourish. All it needs is for good people to sit around doing nothing. Are you one of them? Because whether we win this war or not, it's important for your own soul. Are you sitting around doing nothing, allowing this evil to take over? If you have children, grandchildren, think about, hmm, what if that day comes when they ask you, did you know that this was taking place? Did you know that they were transforming the world into a tyranny and that I would be left with no freedom, no privacy, none of the opportunities that you had as a child? Did you know? Are you just going to say no? I didn't lie to them? Most will. Then if you say yes, what about that next question? What did you do to try to stop this? What did you do to try to stop this tyranny so that I could live the kind of life you did? What are you going to say to them? All links are below.